Hi guys! So uh, I just thought I'll make a little of what I eat in a day uh, summer edition. Uh, simply just a video where I show you what I'm going to eat straight on. Uh, and this is just to uh, maybe inspire what you can eat in the summer. At the moment I have holiday from the work that I do in uh, the Swedish TV house. And so I've started my day sitting on the balcony, drinking my coffee, reading the newspaper. I'm eating breakfast quite late, so currently it's like 11 o'clock. And that's, uh, yeah, when I get hungry normally. So uh, yeah, we're gonna make uh, a little breakfast now. Some frozen blueberries, some frozen mangoes that I uh, put out to defrost. And we are gonna use this um, planty soya yogurt and uh, maybe some raisins and some nuts. drink in the world. I've just uh, been sitting here and doing a little bit of work on my computer and I'm gonna make some lunch soon but first I'm gonna ride my bike to my mom's uh, garden and pick up some fresh vegetables. She is uh, growing so much at the moment and we get like vegetables every day which is super super nice. My mom does not like being on camera or video that much, but yeah, this is her garden. It's so nice. Wow, it's so warm outside. <laughs> Although it is so much cooler today than it was yesterday, but I'm still like, I'm like dripping of sweat. Drinking some more water. <sighs> nice. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna make some lunch and I'm gonna make an omelette with um, the courgettes that I got from my mom's, um, some onion, and I got a little bit of um, broccoli, like the, the end bit of a broccoli, so I'm gonna chop that down as well. Uh, and maybe some red pepper. I want loads of veggies in the omelette. Loads of veggies and lots of fruits is uh, my type of uh, melody in the summer. If you want a more detailed version of how to make this omelette, I link a previous video above and there you can find the exact measurements that I'm using that I'm roughly using as well in the description box below that video. What I'm going to do now is uh, put these fried veggies, blend it together with the uh, omelette batter and then I'm going to pop it back into the pan with a little bit more oil and fry it up for a couple of minutes on each side.
The more vegetables you add to your omelette and the bigger you make it, the harder it is to flip it around. But I really love when there's loads of vegetables, so I prefer that and I don't really mind if it's like not looking as pretty as it could do. So yeah, I always have a problem flipping it over on the other side, but it does not matter, it tastes great anyway. Just chopped up a little bit of green leaves to go with the omelette and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of the lime drizzling over as well. This seasoning is like the best ever. I bought it in America before all this corona stuff started. It's so good. I have it on everything. And after my lunch, I went down to the water for a little power walk. When I got home, I had a little snack, some watermelon. Lovely. And when Howard got home, we went to our local pizza joint to have a beer before dinner. It was very nice. It was a little date night kind of thing. And when we got back, we made some dinner. I fried up some more courgettes in a pan and I fried it together with some more onion and some kale. That was actually from my own balcony. Uh, I had some leftover potatoes as well that I threw in there and we also fried up these uh, cutlets, pre-made cutlets, frozen ones. We served this with some fresh salad leaves and also with this uh, creamy sauce. It was left over from when I made this video the other day, Swedish smuggler's cake. This uh, the sauce is very Swedish, it's with the seaweed caviar and loads of onion and mustard and it's very yummy. I'll link the recipe above here so you can check that out. That was everything from me this uh, time around guys. I hope you enjoyed this What I Eat In A Day video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!